Welcome guys, welcome to this video. In this video I want to create a brand new coach and I want to add it in the list. So user can create that. So here is the option to add coach. So there is should be a component with the form and we can fill the details of coach and we can add that coach in the list. So to do that, first of all, we go into the pages where we have coaches and messages. Now inside the coaches, I'm going to create another page and I'm going to call it create coach dot view. All right, this is going to be the file name, then template and div. And inside it, I want to call another component because I want the form to be in a separate component. And the benefit is that you can call that form in any other pages as well if you want to. So uh, it's going to be reusable in, uh, in that case. So to do that, what we need to do, we need to go into the components and their coaches. Here, I'm going to create coach create dot view so this is also going to be template file and div now what we want to do first of all I'm gonna save this um, I'm gonna put here h1 and create coach and here in in our page we need to call that so to call that we need to import it so for that we need script so this is script and here before export i'm going to import uh, the coach create from so we need to go uh one directory out so now we can go to uh, we are in pages one more directory out and then we can go to components there we can go to coaches and there we can go to coach create dot view now as we call it we should you know, be able to register it using components so we need to do that so here I say data events and here I'm going to pass the name the component we are calling now if we are calling the component we'll be able to use it so we're going to call coach it should be working now the thing is we created both the pages Currently, so for uh, add coaches, we have go to the slash register in the code. So I go to uh, do I have I have router.js open. So slash register currently doesn't have any component. We need to call this uh, create coach component here. So I'm going to call that import create coach from and this time pages and set coaches and then we have create coach dot view all right now we want to make this working when we go to register so this route going to be handled by this component and if I go here all right I didn't close that sorry about it so we go to here it should be closing of this and we have create coach coming here which is coming from this create coach coach create which is uh, here so now what I want to do I want to uh, put a form here so that I have a create I created a form so I'm just going to edit it in front of you so I'm just gonna paste the code here straight away it's just simple HTML we have a form and we have input and here we just have the classes and IDs and some placeholder nothing more uh, everything related to view we are going to do that now so I'm gonna save this and when I go here uh, we have the form here you can see so we have the skills about uh, R and button so to work with this what we need to do we need to uh, use the Vue.js. So what I'm going to do here is that I need to initiate the script But in this case we want to deal with this form and validations and everything So I'm going to call a few properties. So I'm going to say first 
name which is going to be empty last name empty as well so by default this well is going to be empty then we have age this is going to be an array all right so if you see here we have these nothing more so we have first name last name so i'm just going to copy and paste here so we say v model equals this first name i'm just going to copy this here last name all right now then we have age next now I need we model for skills. So for skills, we are going to put it here, and we are going to give the same name, so skills for all three. So I'm just going to copy this for front end, for back end, and for web design. It is going to capture the values. Then we have textures here I want to put about so the about here then after about we have rate so I copy that all right then we have submit button uh, we don't need to pass anything there now I want to uh, run a function so what I do when user submits this form, so I say we on submit and I say prevent, so it won't refresh the page. I want a function, let's call this function add coach function. All right, now as we created this function, uh, announce this function here, we need to create it. So I go to the script here, I say methods. And here add coach all right so here I'm simply I'm going to put a basic validation on it right now so I'm gonna say this dot first name is not equal to empty and this dot skills now it is an array so we can change check for its length if length is more than zero and we are also checking the rate so this dot rate if not equal empty all right so we want to do something now what i want to do i want to call an action so to do that i'm going to use this dot dollar store dot dispatch and uh, because we are dealing with coaches so i'm going to call coaches so it's going to be coaches slash and i call this action process to all right now when we are going to create this we want to pass the data as well so i'm going to pass an object here an object going to have few values so i'm going to say id and id uh, we are storing the id in firebase like this so we have c for coach and then the random number so same way i'm going to do it here so what i'm going to say i'm going to say here c and plus a new date and then we need to get time as a number so it's going to generate a number for us now the rest of the data that we have first first name this dot first name here now I want to do anything afterwards uh, if when I have some kind of response from this so for that I'm going to put a sync await so here in front function I say sync and here I'm going to put await all right and then here we can put the notification so i'm going to say this dot you know, we can use this toaster that we installed in the last video so it's going to be dollar toaster and here we can say so we have the action created now we need to work with this action 
So press to uh, process to add the coach. So I go to the files here uh, in the store folder where we have UX working. So we have modules there. We have coaches and messages. As we are adding the coaches, we need to go inside coaches directory, then index.js. Now here we need to create an action. So it's going to be inside this action. So here I'm going to say comma process to add coach and it is going to receive context and comma payload payload is the data that we are passing and uh, then so in our action we are going to use fetch method and I'm going to use the URL and I'm going to pass a unique ID so that we can have the coach saved in a unique ID so if I have here we have the uh, unique ID for coach and then the data so this is the coach ID and then the data is going here so it's so just like that we are going to do here so what I'm going to do I'm going to say here fetch and I'm going to put the URL so we have coaches now we need to pass an ID okay because we have coaches and then ID if you see here we have coaches then ID inside that ID we have the details regarding that coach so same way we're going to do here so here uh, to get the ID we can we can use payload all right this uh, see here we are passing this object right so if uh, you use you can use this ID so here I'm going to go do that so I'm going to say here dollar payload you know we can call payload because it's how you are getting access to it so payload.id now to uh, make it working we need to remove single code and put like this all right so you can see it's highlighted now it's working just fine and for uh, we need to put here dot json as well all right and we want to pass an object so we can define the method and here I'm going to say method and I'm going to say body is going to be payload all right so far so good now we want to make sure once this done after words we do any process so I'm gonna put here a wait and here a sync all right and here I want to catch the response so I say constant response is equal to this and then we can check so that the response here I can put a condition if response dot ok is equal to true so response will have a property name ok and if it is true that means the uh, the query worked fine then we want to do something and over here we can use context so context dot comment and here I will define the mutation so I just save coach all right comma payload the data we are passing so our data is going to be passed here okay so now we have this we want to create the save coaches mutation so let's do that in that case mutations are here I'm just going to say here comma save coach and we have access to state comma payload all right so here we can set the values so I say state dot coaches so what happens each time we add a new coach we want to push that coach inside the coaches array so I'm just going to pass here payload. All right. So if you see here that each time you create a coach, it's going to be a single coach uh, with the first name, last name, age. It passes here. And once the data is uh, saved, uh, we can then put inside the coaches uh, variable so that we can print it state. So yeah it should be working just fine now so let's test it so I go here home and refresh the page I go to add coaches here I say and then I put contact 
So we say it says Gorge added successfully. So Gorge is Lara Craft. Let's go here. Now, if I check the bottom one, you can see that it is the coach we just added successfully. So we just created the coach work. Now, once we add a coach to redirect the user, we can add this dot dollar route. And then we want to push. And here we want to set the path. And the path going to be the home page where we have the list of all coaches. So I want to send the user there. Now, when we added this, uh, we are getting an undefined last name. The thing is that I misspelled here. So it should be last name and I uh, need to correct that. Also to redirect uh, the user to the home page, we can add this dollar router dot push and then slash. So this time when we're going to add the user in the uh, coach, it is going to redirect afterwards. So let's do that. So I go here and refresh. Now I add coach here. I say Sam and, and contact. So we get the message there and if I scroll down we get the Sam and last name as well so we have the Sam in the list as well so this is how you add the coach inside uh, in the list so now we have coach if I refresh the page it is fetching from database again scroll down we still have Sam so it is getting it from there I know